finished. The others had theirs this morning. I've had so little time. And great heavens, look at it. Look at the time. They're late, late, late. Day of all days. Yeah. Oh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're late. If you please, we'll start a rehearsal at once. But to Mr. Moliere. Yes? You can't expect us to uh, play this play this evening. We've only had our parts this morning. Yeah, I've yeah. only just read it through. That's right. You speak for all yeah, of us. Yeah. Save me from actors and actresses. Yeah, yeah. Now listen. <laughs> this new play is quite this new play is quite short. None of your parts are long. Surely we can run through it now and give it a performance. What? 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 what are you grumbling about? What about me? Do you suppose it's an easy thing to run a play for an audience that does not want to be amused? That was oh, yes. About the hypocrite. What did you call it? Tartuffe. Yes, Tartuffe. It made a lot of people mad. I did. Indeed, Indeed, I know. But if I put a fool on the stage and a fool on the audience thinks he's looking at himself, what can I do? Be quiet. Eh? Listen. <laughs> The audience is here. What am I to do? Mr. Moliere, I have a plan to save us all. Let's play Tartuffe. Tartuffe, bless you, bless you. We'll play Tartuffe. And we'll act it like we never acted before. Do you just from here? Set the stage for Tartuffe.
first of all, the climate to that limousine without my assistance. Mr. Cleant, the Porsche is to be such a sensible gentleman, shrewd as a monkey on the stock market, but kind and considerate with his family. But ever since he brought the tattoo bomb with him, he's all clean out of his mind, calls him brother, and pays more attention than he does to his children or to his wife. The boss is a complete fool over this tattoo. <laughs> Then I'll wait. And don't worry, will you tell him that I'll be in my room? <laughs> and Cleon. You might find out about my sister's marriage to Belair. What's this? But I thought it was all arranged. It was, all arranged. And now Father talks of putting it off. I can't help but suspect that Tartuffe is involved in this business as well. Tartuffe again? You can't read it. If only you could find out. Marianne loves Belair and he loves her. And it would break both of their hearts. Cleant! A happy surprise, but just a moment. Dory! Dory! Oh. Yes, sir? What's been happening? Well, while you were away, the missus was sick and feverish from morning till night. And Tartu? <laughs> Tartu? <laughs> Getting wetter and fatter every day. <laughs> Poor fellow. Oh, oh you'll tell little Mrs. How overwhelmed you on her recovery. You know, I don't like that girl's manner. Yeah. She used to be such a sensible girl. She's changed. She was yeah. very impertinent. Impertinent. So she was. But why? Have you any idea? You said she's changed, but I wonder which of you has changed the most. What? <laughs> We agree she's being impertinent, Ragon, but forgive me. And she at least some excuse? <laughs> excuse? Explain yourself. About this man, Tartuffe. Continue, if you please. Surely you've done enough for him. Rescue him from once, taking him into your home, but to you neglect your dear friends, but also your own family, Ragon. Uh, that's it. I can't stand any more. You don't know the man of whom you speak. And if you did, as I know him, you wouldn't be speaking as you are. Oh, no. But I would. You would? Tar too. Yes, I am changed since I met him. He has shown me how without value are our dearest possession. And now I could see my mother, wife, and children die and not care that. Gee! Barry Gently has told me of all my wife's admirers. He's a thousand times more jealous of her than I am. What arrogance. Oh no, oh no. Orgon, you can't be serious. Leon, please. Orgon, I, I beg yeah. you, but one last word about this man, Tartu. <coughs> You're a really devout man who's respected, but no, I know nothing more terrible than a man who uses for his own ends. Oh yes, Orgon! When they stab, they stab with consecrated blades. And now, have you said your last word, dear brother? I have. And if you'll pardon me. Oh, God. Yes. This concerns my friend Valet. Your solemn word. Solemnly given. He's sure to ask me of his marriage. What do you intend? The will of heaven. And what is the will of heaven? Heaven only knows. What should I tell Valet? Guest. Our guest? My dear, there's only one guest in the house. 
I'm speaking of Tartuffe. Yes, Father. What do you think of them? Father, I'll say anything you like. That's very sensible. Very sensible indeed. Say that he's a man that you respect and admire, and that you love him. And that it would make you very happy if I return him for your husband. <laughs> you wish for me to say that I love Tartuffe and would accept him as my husband? Exactly. But father, why should you wish for me to tell such terrible lies? Lies! But I wish it to be the truth. I wish it. I admit that I agreed to your engagement to Valera, but you're just a child. And there's something very childlike about Tartuffe. You'll be happy like two children. But, Father. I'm warning you, daughter. I've made up my mind. I intend to unite Tartuffe to my family. But. Of course, to look at his not a real beauty. <laughs> I'm your father. You should accept the husband I've chosen for you. Nothing and nobody would ever make me know that kind of a man. You eavesdropper! You bitch! You hussy! Ah! Keep quiet. 
and I'll tell you what we've planned. You'll stand by those Astar teeth to come down here and see if his magic is the marionette. Ah! She's going to see what he really feels about it himself. I'll kill him! I'll kill him! I'll kill him! <laughs> Can I do something for you? I have a message for you. A message? Yes, one moment, please. Before we say another word, take this kerchief. But what should I do with it? <laughs> Clothe yourself, my girl. Clothe yourself. Cover that nakedness. A temptation of the flesh. It doesn't take much to say you all. I have a message for you. <laughs> no need, no need. I have no time for any messages. Many unfortunate souls await me. From the missus. Madam, what's the message? Oh, she's, she's coming down here and desires a moment's private oh, conversation yeah. with me. Indeed. Most oh. willingly. What about the unfortunate souls? Mother! This is indeed a pleasure. Oh, Tartuffe. Yeah, May yeah. heaven enrich your life out of its infinite store of goodness. Oh, thanks a lot. I am much obliged to you. Mm. And have you completed yeah, yeah. your recent yeah. indisposition? Oh, yes, it has quite miraculously. Yeah. Miraculously! Yes, of course, I know only too well that any prayers of mine are unworthy to call down such a miracle. But I've not ceased, day and night, to pray for your swift recovery. Well, that's very nice of you, Tartu, but really, you mustn't waste too many of your prayers on me. That would be impossible. Bobby. Impossible, believe me. I would gladly have sacrificed my own love for Oh, yours. but Tartu, isn't that taking Christian charity a little too far? Oh, but you deserve much more. So much more. <laughs> Until now, it has not been granted. Well, it seems to be a lucky day for your prayers. <laughs> Dark truth, I want to make sure that you're going to answer the question I'm going to ask you But first, dear lady, I beg you, let me say this to you. Anything you wish. Any questions I may have raised about your behavior was out of malice, but out of my devotion. Of course, I know. I know how concerned you are on my behalf. Concerned! Dear lady, so much more than concerned. Zealous. Passionately zealous. Tartu, please, you're hurting my head. Tartu, my head. Tartu, my head! Oh, how soft and lovely. Soft and lovely. Uh, I beg your pardon. The material of your gown? Oh, the material, yes. Oh, yes. What workmanship, what skill. Can you imagine anything more perfect? Tartu, please, I'm, I'm very sensitive. Sensitive? Oh, uh, well. Oh. I mean, ticklish, and anyhow, I wanted to ask you a question. You know that, of course, Marianne is engaged to Blair, and my husband agreed and the wedding date was set, but now I'm told that you are to marry Marianne. Is this true? He did just mention it. And when he mentioned it, what were your feelings? All my feelings, my longings, my hopes are directed elsewhere. Oh, oh, <laughs> I know, I, I know. You know? They are all directed heavenward. Uh, yes. True enough. True enough. But I have human feelings. Uh, but, Tartu, you have made it clear to all of us that all your feelings are for spiritual things, not human. Well, yes, of course. At first I prayed. I fasted. I made a mind to avoid you. Finger made me a stumbling block to salvation. Been on my knees. I learned this. Love was not evil, but good. I am at your mercy. <gasps> so, but aren't you afraid? Hasn't it occurred to you that I might tell my husband it, that when he finds out his friendship with you might be a little shaken? It has occurred to me, but you are too forgiving. If I need forgiveness, you will forgive. You are <laughs> right, Tart. I shall not tell anyone, but on one condition. That you refuse absolutely any proposal that you might marry Mary Ann. No! No! <laughs>
Tartu? Yes. Be very careful. You can make me very angry when you speak of my dear French Tartu. <laughs>
But not careful. I shall appear weak. Rather than learn Tartuffe, I'll live out the rest of my life in a convent. Here he is. <laughs> yes. Wait, yes. wait. Oh, heaven give me strength. That's better. <laughs> get up, get up, get up. Dear, may I say something? But well, of course. The man has laid a spell on you. How can you possibly refuse to believe your own family? Indeed, no. I see how you all hate him. I see how you believe those lies Tommy spewed out. What lies? That Tartuffe was improper with you. If it were true, you would have been much more disturbed. But why? Why should I make a big deal out of it? Good heavens, if a woman wants to preserve her reputation, she can do so without calling upon heaven. Words, 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 words. Very well, if I make you see, we were telling the truth. See? Yes. Impossible. Very well, I'm sure you presume your Tartuffe is everything you think he is. Of course. Then you can have no objection to my trying to prove you wrong. Why should I have? Do you mean that? I do. Tell Tartuffe to come here. Jesus Christ, he's cut out the money. Tell him I want him here now, this minute, in this room. And now, you just sleep as slow. <laughs> now, husband, if you will, get under the table. Under the table? Yes, when Tartuffe comes, he mustn't know you're here. Well, I must say. Under you go. Good, and while you're down there, you must neither be seen nor heard. Do you make that promise? My solemn word. I hear him coming. I have your word. <laughs> You wish to see me? Yes, Tartuffe. I wish to see you. How foolish I was before. I should have denied everything to my husband. But I was taken by surprise. So here we are, together. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry your head about him. He bled by the nose. 
He sees everything and believes nothing. Well, where do you suppose he is now? What's his matter? Suppose he's outside the door. He's not. He's not. I know he's not. Words, words, words. Show me. <coughs> no one. Not the next room. Oh, the villain, the black one.